Righto, Toyota champs now, RD's 13th gen Intel laptops with the latest 4000 series NVIDIA GPUs. Are they lemons? Are they duds? Well, let's find out. So right here I have Lenovo's Legion 7i. Now this has NVIDIA's latest RTX 4080 GPU and has an Intel 13900HX processor. So the latest tech here. These are the laptops supposedly have this issue where they just black screen after they idle after full load, right? So you pump load into them, then you leave them, they idle, and then they'll go to black screen. You can't recover it, you have to restart it. Now, Jared's Tech has done the post about this. Multiple laptops do this. There's a subreddit. There's lots of stuff about these laptops exhibiting this same sort of behavior. But let's find out if I can replicate it. Now, here's the thing, right? It's a KWCN32WW Wolf. What does that mean? This has a BIOS update. Now, I checked up that BIOS update on Lenovo's website, and guess what it says about that BIOS update? NA, 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 nothing. No notes about it. Do you know why? It's a rushed out BIOS update. So it's obviously to address this issue. This has the latest BIOS. I believe this is the same laptop that Jared tested because they get sent around everywhere. I think he's finished with it. I got sent it. It may be different. Maybe his unit got sent to someone else, but whatever. This has a BIOS update that just got released. So when Jared tested this, it did not have this BIOS update. So I'm going to try and replicate it with this BIOS update. Who knows if they've fixed it or not. What graphics driver am I on? I am actually on 531.41. So the latest release driver there from NVIDIA for the graphics. We're in sort of hybrid mode, although once I've turned this game on now, where I'm going to simulate some load here, it actually changed to discrete mode. So... Yeah, it is what it is. Let's just pump some load into this and then let it idle. And then we'll talk about whether I can replicate it or even if I can't replicate it, should you buy one of these things, um, whether I can or can't replicate it. Because the thing is, they're new. They need, you know, software updates, BIOS updates. That happens all the time with these laptops. There's always teething issues with these things. But is this like a lemon, like dead on arrival? Well, let's just find out. Let's put it under some load there some sort of benchmark load, and then we'll let it idle, and we'll see what happens. All right, all right, you can hear it. Yeah, it's been under full load for a bit. I'm actually really impressed. 50 decibels under full load. Now, I was doing um, runs in the background of Cinebench as well. So we're just going to leave this now, and let it go back to idle, and see what happens. Now, so as we wait for this to black screen or not, let's talk about whether you should buy these if they are lemons and they can't be fixed or even hopefully it's been fixed with this BIOS, should you wait? Well, here's the deal. If you're going to buy off Lenovo or Dell or something like that, wouldn't be worried. I think you have to pay for on-site repair at Lenovo. So upgrade to that sort of warranty. But I know with Dell, for example, if this was an Alienware or a Dell or something like that, if there was an issue with this, I'll just call them up, they'll send a technician within 48 hours, come to my house or your office, whatever, and they'll fix it, right? So they'll replace the motherboard, this and that. If they can't fix it, they'll probably send out a new unit. And this is all done within 24 hours or whatever. So you're not really going to be without the laptop for that long. It should be the same with Lenovo. And if they can't fix it, they'll replace it with a new unit or you get your money back, right? It's simple. So I wouldn't worry if I buy off one of these big guys. The worry is if you buy off some of these other manufacturers where you have to take it back to the shop and then the shop has to send it back to the manufacturer and all this rubbish and you might be waiting four to six weeks before you hear back from them and then they send it back and it's still got the same issue. Who knows, right? In that regard, if I'm not going with one of the big boys, Dell, Lenovo, HP, I'm not sure on the check with HP, but I definitely know Dell. It wouldn't worry me whatsoever because I know I'll be covered if it's a lemon and I'm only going to be without the laptop for a day or two until they can send me another one or they'll repair it, they'll replace the motherboard. Whatever they have to do, it'll all be done on site, quick and easy. And yeah, I wouldn't worry. But with other manufacturers where you've got to send it back, or you have to take it back to the shop and they've got to send it back. Yeah, maybe not. All right. All right. So this thing's been here for a while. I've done this three or four times. All right. I've done it in the lounge room. I've done it this morning, like three or four times, put it under load. And whatever they've done with this BIOS, so far, I can't replicate this issue. Okay. 
So if you've got any suggestions on how I can try and replicate it, and the thing with these BIOS upgrades is they affect the performance of the laptop too, right? You could do all these benchmarking and they could release a new BIOS and it can either nerf them or it can increase the performance. So all that time testing all this stuff is a waste of time when they release a new BIOS update. But I suspect because they don't have release notes on this BIOS, it just says NA, NA, NA. This is a rushed out BIOS to try and fix this issue of this crashing. So, so far I cannot replicate it. Hopefully that BIOS has fixed it. I am in the process of reviewing this. This is the Legion 7i. Um, one thing that impressed me is 50 decibels, 51 decibels max under full load there. So that was all right. I guess gone are the days where they're 60 decibels. I mean, 50 is still loud, but yeah pretty good in that regard and the keyboard works well the trackpad the screen looks pretty good 240 hertz 1600p display um i wish they'll get rid of this matte stuff and stick glossy seriously but so far i cannot replicate that issue so i'm not suggesting that it's fixed we'll see i'm gonna have it all week to review it and i'll have it next week as well so i'll take my time reviewing it and if it does happen i will let you know but anyway, so far, and I've done it three, four times, whatever, just doing this load thing, uh, I cannot replicate this issue. And I've done it with games, I've done it with benchmarks. So yeah, we'll see what happens there. But buy it from a big boy and you won't have to worry. Even if they are lemons, they'll fix it. Come to your house, fix it, whatever. Uh, if you're with one of those manufacturers, the smaller ones maybe, that yeah, you have to send it back and all that crap, nah. I'd probably wait to see, hopefully, that this has been resolved with a BIOS update. So anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.